Hey guys, if you like videos like these, if you like these tips and tricks on how to train and get more muscle mass and lose fat, well, check out the Natural Glam Bodybuilding Podcast on Patreon. The link is in the description. Mountain. Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding. Mountain. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the bent over row and what to do about it if you're not feeling your lats during the movement. And this may work for you. It may work for a lot of you or, or maybe all of you. Hey, why not, right? Maybe it won't work for all of you, but, but you know what I'm saying. That this subtle change in technique might make all the difference in what part of the back you're activating. Now, most of you guys know that I've done bent over rows a certain way for quite a long period of time. I do like a Yates type of row because I feel it is optimal for hitting the upper back. Now, if you have any misunderstandings about bent over rows or you have some confusion about a bent over rowing, meaning that you think you have to basically be parallel to the ground, like your upper body has to be parallel to the ground, I highly recommend that you watch this video that I made on the bent over row explaining why I do what I do with the bent over row and the logic behind it so that way you can kind of understand. So instead of prejudging like, hey Jason, you're just, you're just ego lifting because you're not bending over uh, far enough. I, I'm gonna just get you to watch that first. And once you have the understanding of the bent over row and how it works in building the back, then you can start to play around with the technique a bit to see what extra results you can get from variations of technique. So if you're not feeling your lats during the bent over row and your primary purpose of doing the bent over row is to get that meat of the of the back to really build that lat like a like a professional bodybuilder right to get that real big sick kind of cobra back right what i'm going to say is that the standard way to do a bent over row is possibly a wider grip or a medium wide grip and that's that's what i've been doing for quite a long time and i noticed when i do that i get a lot of rear delt i get lat and i get some upper mid back in the movement, right? So I get the, the mid back, which is the mid trap area. Now that's all fine. That's a great uh, grip to use. And I notice when I use a wider grip, I am able to bend over more and still clear the legs with the bar and so forth. But recently I started messing around with the grip width. And what I noticed was when I went narrower in the grip, I started to engage the lats more and the mid back less, of course, because of the angle of attack. I'm more like pulling like this instead of like this, right? I mean, these are two exaggerated ranges I'm talking to you about, but when you go wider and because your hands are, are attached to a bar, it starts to dictate the line of motion. So the width of the grip does play a role in kind of forcing you to move a certain way. So when I went narrower in the grip, then there was more of an arc, including the lats involved. And also what I noticed, I had to stay a little bit more straight up and down to keep the tension on the lats. Because like I've said before, constant tension is king. It really does help with building those muscles, right? So in the clips that you've seen so far and the clips that you'll see now, You'll notice that I'm standing a little bit more upright than usual, but I'm getting massive tension on the lats and that's the whole point of the exercise. It isn't about how far I can bend over or not. So you'll have to adjust this based on your own individual joint ratios, but one small change in grip width might make the difference in how you feel the lats. So if you're not feeling your lats during the bit over row, I highly recommend you just narrow the grip. Now, a lot of people out there will say do underhand grip, but really what they're saying is narrow the grip. The only problem is when you do underhand grip, you are putting your bicep in jeopardy. A lot of guys have torn biceps because they slip or something happens and then what happens, the stress goes onto the bicep tendon, the brachii tendon specifically, and then they end up with a serious injury. So. I don't really recommend reverse grip bent over rows. What I recommend is just varying up the grip width for the most part. So yeah, if you're not feeling those lats, narrow up the grip and see how that feels. Now I'm not saying you have to stick with that technique forever, but this could be one way to access the lats if you're not getting that development already. Mountain. So yeah, I hope this helps out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get hold of me, just go to naturalandbodybuilding.com and thanks to the patron supporters and take care for now.
Natural land. 